So if you're a mobile home park owner who's been thinking about selling your park and a potential buyer has been asking for your profit loss statements and you're curious why, I'm going to give you the main reason the buyer is requesting to see them and why you shouldn't be afraid to share that info. Before we get into the video, I'm Armand with MHPValue.com. We're the nation's number one company at maximizing the value of your park if you were thinking about selling. We provide 100% free in-depth evaluations on your park so that way you know exactly what it's worth and then we can either give you an immediate cash offer now or advise you with a top brokerage team that isn't going to waste your time and ultimately maximize your value if you are selling your park. So getting into the video, why is a buyer requesting your profit loss statements? So the two main things that they're probably going to ask for is one, a rent roll, which I broke down in a previous video, and two, your profit loss. It is essentially a verification of the income and expenses of your park. So a lot of times when a buyer is asking an owner what their lot rents are and what they collect, it doesn't usually line up with their real profit loss states. Most owners will say, hey, I'm collecting 250 a month lot rents. But when you actually get to the rent roll and P&Ls, you'll see that some are at 250, some are at 260, some are at 210, some are as low as 150, and it's usually all over the board. The profit loss statement actually shows, hey, this is what was really collected with the park and preferably over the last 12 months. We know that gradually that usually goes up because sometimes over the last 12 months you raise the rents yourself and a good buyer is going to know that. Then also your profit loss statement is gonna verify any expenses you have. Now, I know a really big issue with this is a lot of family business park owners, they write off other expenses from other businesses and other things through their park to bring down their taxable income. You should not be afraid to share your profit loss statements with a buyer, even if you do that. A good buyer is going to know how to look at your expenses and back out any type of one-time cost of an improvement, let's say a home caught on fire and you replaced that home. That's not gonna be a regular expense. So I know your income will probably look lower on your profit loss than you actually do collect on a typical month. A good buyer is going to know how to look at that and back it out. One scenario we ran into is a park in Tifton, Georgia that we were selling. And the owner of that park was doing renovations on his vacation home and building a dock. And it costed him about seventy dollars to $80,000. He ended up writing off all those costs through the park. And if we were getting bank financing on this deal, it could have potentially blew up the deal. But in this case, it was a seller finance deal, so it wasn't a huge issue. Now with these profit loss statements, again, why the buyer needs to verify this info is you might be going back and forth in negotiations and talking about the income of the park but he hasn't seen your profit loss when he gets that in due diligence while being under contract and goes to his lender his lender is going to see the profit loss and be asking why is the income at this when i thought the income was this why are the expenses like this when these are the expenses that buyer is assuming he's gonna be running. And as long as the buyer has your profit loss statements off the front end, he could talk through and back out expenses he doesn't need from there, whether they be written off expenses or one-time expenses. And he could have this ready with an explanation so that way his lender's still on board to finance him for the purchase price of the park. So to conclude this video, if you are looking to sell your park, you should have your profit loss statements ready to go and you should be providing those to a buyer. Now, if you do not have profit and loss statements because you collect either cash or you don't deposit all of your checks into one account and you don't keep good books and records like through QuickBooks. There are some workarounds with that. You should reach out to us so we can help you. Then also, if you have your rent rolls and profit loss statements or not, and you are curious what your park is actually worth in today's market, reach out to us at mhpvalue.com. Click any of the links below or shoot us an email at contact at mhpvalue.com or call or text me at 561-596-8487. Regardless of your financials, we can give you an accurate evaluation on your park and we can also help set you up with itemized rent rolls and an explanation for your P&L for a prospective buyer to ultimately maximize your value if you're thinking about selling. Hope this video was helpful. Don't forget like and subscribe to get more helpful content coming soon and thank you for watching.